Hello, I'm Dr. Annadale, and our text for today is Chapter 4 of Darwin's On the Origin of Species. The chapter title is Natural Selection, and it is about 50 pages long. In this chapter, Darwin reviews a number of key elements of natural selection. First, that it takes place under a condition of a constant struggle for existence, a struggle to survive and reproduce in nature. Second, that it works through an abundance of heritable variations, a variety of traits that can be passed on from generation to generation of living beings. And lastly, that natural selection serves as the mechanism of transmutation. That is to say, natural selection explains how it is that we come to have the great variety of seemingly discrete species that we find in nature. Some questions to keep in mind as you read. First, what are the main features of natural selection? According to Darwin, what factors are advantageous and disadvantageous for natural selection to operate? Second, what is the role of extinction on Darwin's theory? How does it help to uh, work through in natural selection? And lastly, why should we not be surprised to find no continuum of intermediate forms between living species? This was a charge sometimes made of Darwin's theory that if it were correct, we should expect to find a continuum of intermediate forms in between uh, discrete living species, and yet we do not find this. What is Darwin's uh, preliminary reply to this line of critique? I ask you as you read to especially pay attention to the last three and a half pages of this chapter, which is a very nicely written summary of what Darwin takes himself to have done in the final half of the chapter. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.